Hi Virgo, welcome to your November Love Tower reading. So Virgo, we are looking at whatever you need to know, whatever needs to come out at this time, so please do keep this in mind. And that is regarding either your love life or love situation. And we're going to see what's going on. So we have the Chakra Insight Oracle. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck, see what's going on, and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome, okay, you got a jumper here. So welcome in, Virgo. I hope you're all doing um, well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Okay, we're just jumping out here. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tower. Well, yours just want to jump out. All right, so let's see what we have for you, <clears throat> Virgo. November, can you believe that already? Love Tower reading. Okay, we have honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. 31, which is 4, a very stable, grounded energy. Forgiveness, 23, 5, which is about change. We have the rainbow there for growth, luck, expansion. Letting go, healing, growth, compassion. Sound, 33, which is about growth and expansion. Three is about growth and expansion. You don't reduce double numbers. They're kind of like master life path numbers. Music, silence, rhythm, vibration. Somebody could be a musician. And compassion, 2810. Completion, new beginnings. Caring, empathy, acceptance, gentleness. We do have pink here. I feel like this is about either bringing, I mean, pink usually for me, as a reader can represent new love or this could be about healing and bringing a new sense of energy into a love situation having compassion here and that i believe is a lotus flower so they do grow out of murky muddy waters so that's about you know maybe difficulties and rising above that into something really beautiful so i do see here a lot of honesty <clears throat> and forgiveness there could be definitely something about sound whether you both enjoy music or the same thing, or this could be about just making beautiful music together and having a deeper understanding and compassion towards one another. So I definitely feel like honesty is essential here between two people and forgiving, healing, releasing, making beautiful music together, having compassion, empathy, and acceptance, and taking things slow. Would you have gentleness there? to kind of like revamp a situation here. So I don't know what's happened, but we're going to see. It may not tell me what happened. I mean, it doesn't always. It just gives me like the current energy. But um, let's see. All right, Virgo, November Love Tarot reading. We got the Cosmic Tarot here. So you're reading with this deck, and then at the end we will close out with some messages from Spirit's Oracle cards. All right. So tell me what we need to know here for Virgo. Tell me what we need to know here for Virgo. Let's see. Five of Pentacles. Lay them out and see. Eight of Cups. Death. Hmm. Hmm. The Devil. Yikes. Okay. Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. Holy crap, Virgo. What's going on here? I see a lot of negative energies here with the uh, devil card. It doesn't really necessarily mean the actual devil. It just means, you know, not so great energy here. I do see they're feeling a lot of lack in a connection. Possibly there's been separation or a walking away. And death could be, you know, it could be the separation. It could be an actual ending. Devil is a lot of toxicity. It could be addictions, obsessions negative attachments, not toxic energy, not a great energy, a lot of holding back, and a lot of uncertainty with the Four of Cups. We got Scorpio and Capricorn so far. So a lot of, like, I see like, oh my God, do it, you know, like not knowing what to do in this situation. These are not great cards, I have to say. <laughs> Virgo, these are not great cards, but we're going to keep going. All right. So we got to do more, like tell me more. Death can also mean the transformation, but hopefully we see the strength card at some part uh, point because that can overcome the devil no matter what comes out. So we'll see. I mean, we do have sirens going off. So if you hear that in the background, it could mean that maybe this can be rescued. We'll see. 
So look, we do have the hangman and the moon. So yeah, there's definitely a pause here and a lot of fear. Uh, the future unknown, the direction it's going unknown. Seven of Pentacles, a lot of assessing, analyzing, stalemate, kind of like at a standstill right now. Three of Wands, but it's about looking out to the future. Knight of Swords reverse, so it's about not rushing to make any quick decisions here. That's kind of what I feel. Page of Pentacles, so yeah, so this is about taking our time to make a fair and balanced decision being stable and grounded and not doing anything because a knight of swords upright can be very chaotic out of the blue out of nowhere maybe doing something someone may regret that would turn to the slowest knight which would be the knight of pentacles taking our time pentacles are material and uh, monetary things so that's about you know being <laughs> wise practical analytical grounded stable not rushing taking our time as like earth energy is that energy as well which you are an earth sign virgo so i see here's the pause the hangman we're kind of in limbo right now what's going to happen moon we're having that fear we can't see the path clear we just don't know what's going to happen what lies ahead you know seven of pentacles so there is that stalemate like i said pentacles very slow what do we do here assessment analyze three of wands looking out to the future what does the future hold for us but taking our time and not rushing and doing anything drastic we'll regret later and having honest grounded communication with that page of pentacles as well huh, there could have even been engagement on the table at one point uh saying but let's see we have pisces pisces aquarius and capricorn all right so let's see what else we need to if there was an engagement i mean it could be even on hold um right now i mean it's not really telling me um like what happened here um with the devil and the death and just telling me feeling the lack in separation so there could have been you know lack of attention lack of time being spent with one another lack of many things um in the connection that you're both feeling for some reason but let's see virgo what else do we need to know Star reverse. So some may not be feeling hopeful about this. Six of Wands feeling like it's not going to work. Six of Wands reversed. But we do have the Magician here, which is about manifesting this, a new beginning. Nine of Wands. There's definitely some struggles here. I ain't going to lie. I can see that here. And stress, anxiety with the Nine of Swords. Struggle and stress. Yeah, it's not good. But we do have an Emperor here, which is about taking the lead, taking charge. Um, I do have divine energy here. Very similar to, oh, uh, what sign was it that I did? Um, let's see. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, it was kind of similar to one reading I did. It might have been Sagittarius. Might have been Sagittarius. Or it could have been Aries. No, Pisces. Pisces, I mean. I don't remember. Anyway, it could have been Pisces. I think it was Pisces. Anyway, uh, we do have a lot of Pisces showing up in this reading. But yeah, not too hopeful. Don't see success. But the Magician is here for a new beginning. I mean... But the struggle and stress is real, and the Emperor is a very, you know, take charge, control kind of energy, taking the lead. So I feel like someone's going to take the lead in this, too. Okay, let's, what are we going to do? Are we going to work this out? Let's work this out. Let's see what we can do here. The Magician is here. we got Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Aries. <clears throat> All right, Virgo, let's see what else we need to know. What else do we need to know here for Virgo? Nine of Pentacles, very single, independent energy. Somebody may have been acting like they were single in the connection, and maybe somebody else wasn't happy with that. Two of Cups, they felt more disconnected to the other person. Three of Cups. So this could have been about dating and maybe leveling it up, you know? And uh, 
you know, somebody wasn't either willing to do that because this is my corn dating getting to know. We have the disconnect here with the two of cups reversed. And a single independent energy with the nine of pentacles. Chariot. It could be somebody felt like it was moving too fast into commitment and maybe they weren't ready. Or maybe distance was a factor because we do have the chariot. That's usually successful movement forward. Victory, balance. Nine of Cups reverse. Not feeling happy or fulfilled. Oh, look at that. We got strength. There we go. I feel like this energy can be overcome. I mean, strength is about overcoming. Can overcome anything, even the devil, whatever comes out here, which is good. I was hoping to see that. But strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe even past lives together as well. Overcoming, being strong, courageous, and brave. Can't deny the connection that is here. So I do like there's a chance to overcome and work this out. There is healing, forgiveness, releasing, honesty. Sorry, guys. I just had a cough so bad and I didn't want to stop the camera but yeah overcoming not hopeful or you know not feeling needs are being met but there's something here that can be overcome but we're gonna pull more i like that strength did come out so we have leo cancer so tell me like what what's the outcome here for virgo if this resonates please do like comment all the great things be greatly appreciated but let's see what the outcome is going to be here. What else do you need to know? For Virgo, what else do we need to know? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Four. <clears throat> five. Let's take one more. Okay. Oh my god, the lovers. <laughs> there's, a con there's a connection. There's no doubt about that. The fool. There's the energetic reset. Oh, I like that. Page of Cups reversed. Mm, I don't like that though. Four of Swords reversed. Don't overthink. Don't overthink. Temperance. There's the soulmate alignment. There's the energy. This is a soulmate connection. Peace, harmony, joy, love, light, balance, healing. Divine alchemy. Soulmates. Seven of Wands. It's definitely a little... I feel like a little stubbornness here. Like for one person to apologize over certain things. Or make that move of compassion and healing and forgiving and releasing and apologizing but it can happen because its strength can overcome anything there's the energetic reset with the fool clean slate fresh start no baggage jumping all in the true connection is here there's no doubt about it no holding back no not not time it's not a time of overthinking and holding back it's alignment healing and balance a little bit of a challenge there, <clears throat> the Seven of Wands, but sometimes you got to fight for what you want as well, and that can be that energy too. Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces again, Sag. Let's see. Clarify here. Knight of Wands, going after. You want this, you got to go after it, make it happen. Knight of Wands energy, fire, passion. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. Seven of Swords has been a lot of avoidance of this whole situation. Now it's led to this. Could have been, you know, some negative energies too attached to that. Four of Wands, it could be also about the lack of commitment. The world could be a return, but it's also a stuck energy. Shortening the distance between two. Maybe an option. Making big decisions. Two of Swords. Yeah, we got to get fired up again. I feel like, you know... <clears throat> this kind of put a little bit of a thorn into something that could have been beautiful or could still can be beautiful queen of swords truth clarity communications essential here's a massive healing happiness and joy with the sun everything positive no doubting the conflict i mean we did feel that five of wands page of wands you know fire passion traction justice is evening out the energies balance Things meant to be as well. So, Virgo. 
we do have Libra energy here. So we're right at the tail end of Libra going into Scorpio. May even be Scorpio by the time you see this. <clears throat> There's a chance here to really heal, forgive, start over, make, you know, work it out, and make some beautiful music together. That's what you want. All right, Virgo. So let's see. Let's get some messages from Spirit. <clears throat> My throat's just really acting up right now. See what else you need to know and everything you do need to know is down below my website for everything you need as well as lots in the description box so let's see relationships well isn't that what we're talking about <clears throat> relationships are just mirror images of your own life how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth so that this may be about your both your soul growth do you have the luck expansion up there with the rainbow some it could be same sex um let's see did we have <clears throat> actually we didn't have a lot of core cards here i mean we have the what was this up here the queen of no i don't think we got any kings or queens here i don't think i've ever seen that in a reading that's crazy. Well, we got the Queen of Swords right there. Okay. Okay, relationships. Yeah, I just read that. All right. Let's see. Cleanse. Yeah, there definitely needs to be healing, forgiving, purging, cleansing, purifying the energy. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take out, take time out for some much needed cleansing, just as you wash your car, clean your house tidy the office your body also needs care and attention it's time for some spiritual emotional and physical cleansing yeah i feel like it's of the relationship actually and give back so giving and receiving today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve it's about going back without giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return reach out to touch another other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today so yeah a father's love wow this has been coming out a lot too a father's love for his son or daughter never dies the strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable, and that it can be tapped into any time for whatever reason whether your father is still here or has passed a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. So it could be single parents or maybe there's children involved, um, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I, I do feel like there is a lot of love here too. And it's time of healing, cleansing, purging the relationship, giving and receiving, making beautiful music together, healing, forgiving, releasing, kind of starting over fresh and new. I mean, with the fool right here and the strong connection and temperance soulmate angel all right virgo that's what i have for you so i do hope that helped that resonated again everything you need is down below i am wishing you the best and i shall see you next time